I do. What do you want? Done. Examined every nook of the sewers near your vault. Well, learn anything? Seems to me a bomb blew the wall open. Look. Bomb of a silver cylinder, probably. Covered in runes. Interesting. Any idea what it contained? Recognized some ingredients by their scent. Wyvern oil and sugar. Sugar? Geralt, I'm in no mood for jests. Nor am I. Just saying what I found. Bomb contained sugar. Let's think. Sugar would react violently with sulfuric acid, but not so violently to cause an explosion. Didn't know you were versed in alchemy. Dabbled in it a bit, while at Oxenford Academy. But this is no time to reminisce. You're to find my treasure, not write my biography. Know anything else about this bomb? Anything at all? Bomb went off inside a drainage pipe embedded in the vault wall. But the grate at the end of the pipe was in place when the blast happened, meaning... The bomb must have found its way into the pipe from inside the bathhouse. Exactly. Might have gone something like this. Perpetrator started emptying one of the pools, then dropped the bomb down the drain. The bomb flowed down with a runoff, came to rest on the grate, and, to quote Bart, big boom. Drain pipes are only promising lead. We just need to know which pool it's connected to. Yes. Hatton keeps a record of guests. Should be able to tell us who used that pool the day of the break-in. You've not done badly. Feel honored to be acknowledged. Oh, that famous sarcasm. I missed it. Really? Hmm. About as much as I'd miss a knife in my knickers. You inspect the pools on the right, I'll take the ones on the left. Holler if you find anything. Nothing here. Something floating on the surface. Oil looks like. Nothing interesting. Silver lid. Matches the cylinder bottom I found in the sewer. Dijkstra, come here. Got something? Yeah, bomb part. Happen. Drain pool four, and bring me the guest book. Chop chop. The 
Let's see what's on the bottom. Grate's been removed from the drain, meaning they flushed the bomb down here. Happen? Who used this pool the day of the break-in? Let me see. Uh, Bertolt Heights, town councilman, Josef Schweik, brewer, and Margrave Henkel. Henkel? That's impossible. Margrave Henkel? Who's that? Who was that, you mean? Old coach has been eating dirt since last winter. Couldn't have been here the day of the break-in. He's dead. I'd not heard. Not surprising. The Honourable Margrave croaked in a brothel, decked out in leather lingerie, so the family held a hush-hush funeral. But I have my sources. Yeah. Yeah, I saw him that fateful day, Mr. Reuven. I'm certain of it. Did you speak to him? Get a good look at him? No. He merely passed by on the way in. So you didn't see Henkel. You saw an impersonator. Think for once. They scooped out your balls, not your brain. And you, Geralt, start looking into this. Gotta ask me nicely. I'm not one of your delivery boys. Pardon my tone. I've grown accustomed to ordering folk around and barking as I do it. Fine. Where should I start? Henkel's home. Derelict townhouse south of the main square. You might happen on some trace of this scoundrel we're looking for there. Well, off with you. cylinder. Bottom looks like what I found in the sewer. Footprints.
and a bottle. The wine from your birth year. It's absolutely excellent. Startling bouquet. You absolutely must try it. But afterwards, please place the bottle back where you found it. Your birth year. Could be dandelions. Or series. to see you here. Certainly not with Triss. I decided we could use someone who knows a bit of magic. The runes on the bomb. I'm absolutely dying to know what they mean. You dying to know too, Triss? No, just here for the coin. Ah, Marigold playing the cynical materialist. I love it. In truth, her ideals brought Triss here. She needs gold to save her colleagues. When I recover my treasure, I'll be in a position to help her. Simple as that. Speaking of which, and pardon my Beauchelet was, have you found out who fucking nicked my gold? Bothered Triss for nothing. No point examining the bomb. Because? Because I already know who nabbed your treasure. Commander of the Temple Guard, Caleb Menge. Your coin stands to come with a side of revenge. Geralt, would you be kind enough to tell me what you've learned? I'm terribly curious. Henkel told me. Old man's alive and well. Faked his own death to escape his creditors. Strange. I had no idea he was in debt. He was. And Menga promised to take care of things in exchange for help with the heist. So... Geralt. How can I put this delicately? Bollocks. If you thought I'd fall for that tale you just pulled out of your ass, you don't know me one bit. Know you well enough to know what matters. Results. So I lied. Still say I can lead you to your treasure. 
Forgive me, Geralt, but after what you just pulled, I'd sooner believe a whore who proclaimed her undying love. Would you believe a sorceress who stands to gain if you get your coin back? Perhaps. I'd still prefer the whore, though. You're hiding something. And that's one thing I can't stand. Even more than Nilfgaard. But ultimately, this is a business deal, not a marriage. Besides, there must be some truth in all those lies. You're too dense to make it all up on your own. Hmm. Menger has been spending heaps of coin lately. Though to my knowledge, he shouldn't have a copper to his name. So, what now? From what I've heard, Menger spends his nights at the docks, witch hunter's quarters. Maybe pay him a visit. Ask where he's holding my gold for me. Doubt Menger will admit anything willingly. As do I. Lucky I hired a witcher and a sorceress who've been through so much together to get this done. What's our past got to do with it? A great deal. Lovers will jump into the abyss for one another. Suits my needs perfectly. Namely, it greatly increases your chances of getting out of the hunter's barracks alive. With my treasure. Information's out of date. We are not. Yes, I know. You parted a week after the summit of Loch Muin, in the woods near where the Lixella flows into the Pontar. But you know what they say. Old love never dies. First. First love. Now how the hell... <laughs> That's my secret, lovebirds. Really must be going. Good luck. Didn't have to disagree so strongly. Sorry. Didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Hope not. But we've strayed from our topic. Got a treasure to recover. Triss, gotta tell you something. Dijkstra's gold, it's the last thing I care about. Thought as much. This is about Siri, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Menga's got Dandelion locked up somewhere, and Dandelion saw Siri. That changes everything. Listen. Meet me at midnight by the Chapel of the Eternal Fire, east of the harbor. We'll figure out a way to get into the Hunter's Barracks together. All right. See you then. And thanks. Glad you're here. Listen, took a look at the building and it does not look good. Mean it could use a bit of paint and spackle? I mean, it's a damn fortress. High walls, guards at the gate, armed men everywhere. We could never sneak in and fighting our way in won't work. Menga would have had plenty of time to escape. What do you suggest? Take these shackles. Put them on me. explaining what this is all about. Think. Bring the hunters the vile Triss Marigold. They won't just open the gate for you. They're likely to let you present her to Menga personally. No way. Too risky. Dandelion's life's on the line. Series two. No such thing as too risky. Fine. Let's say they take the bait. What then? We go in, I put a sword to Menga's throat and ask him where Dandelion is? Might not work. Menga's scum, but you have to admit, death doesn't scare him. Always found that annoying in fanatics. So we gotta trick him into talking, 
any ideas? Uh, maybe tell him you have information about the Lodge. Or about Philippa. Even better, he hates her most of all. You'll think of something. Still got a bad feeling about this. But tough. Let's go. Geralt, remember, I can take care of myself. What are you talking about? The Hunters. They won't treat me like a lady, but I'll survive. Might hurt a bit, but... Siri, she's what matters. Do what you need to do, no matter what happens. Can't promise that. I'm still asking you to, all right? Mm, all right. What do you want? Here for my reward. On the Alpha? For a witch. Recognize who I got? It's Triss Marigold. Marigold? Come in then. Well, well. Triss Marigold. Giving up drowners for sorceresses. Pays better. It's cause they do more harm. What's a drowner do? Pull the odd fisherman from his boat. But the witches, they murder kings, scheme, start wars. Don't forget turning your cow's milk sour straight out of the udder. Ah! You're done jesting, Marigold. For good. Put her in a cell. Hands off. What did you say? Ah, yeah, sensed it. Knew we couldn't trust him. Which, uh, which? One and the same. So they can burn at one and the same stake? Oh, 
Well? I think that's all of them. That was close. I must say, trickery and deceit, not your strong suits. True. I prefer straightforward solutions. Yeah. Fight first, ask questions later. We should search the office. Maybe we can find some documents mentioning Dandelion. I'll search his body, you search the room. I'd start with the desk. Anything? Just his office key in his pockets. Here. Nothing under his belt. Wait. Something sewn in the lining. What is it? The key to a vault. Here. Give it to Dijkstra with my regards. to Menga from someone important. A spy, I think. A spy? Take a look. Drop boxes, secret signals. Yeah, strong stench of spycraft here. This agent could know more about Dandelion. Bet he does. Letter explains how to signal for a meeting. No mention of where it would take place. Maybe Dijkstra can help. He knows everything. Everything? 
Slight exaggeration there. I'm not so sure. Key to a vault? No address? Why do I doubt this will make Dijkstra smile? Well, might keep him from setting his thugs on us. Breaking our legs for failing to fulfill our part of the bargain. Meaning glass is half full? Of something strong, I hope. Nothing left for us here. Let's go. Be glad to. Just not by way of the main gate. This is where we split up. But first, let's burn this shack down. Agreed. We've left too much evidence. Yeah, but I also need to blow off some steam. Listen, there's one other thing I wanted to talk about. But not here, and definitely not now. Come by later when you have a moment? I'd appreciate it. All right. We need to get out of here. should do it. I'm going. You should too. Mm-hmm. Not about to use the teleport though. See you, Triss.
You there, Mr. Roven wants a word. Impatient old bastard. What? Nothing. Be there soon. Who do I spy? Why, it's Geralt of Rivia. <sighs> will you stop following me already? I will, as soon as you tell me where my treasure is. Me and Menga didn't see eye to eye. How badly? Badly. I suppose that explains the smoke. My treasure's not in there, is it? Burning with the witch hunters. Didn't see it anywhere. And 20 tons of gold is hard to miss. You mean to say you've come to me empty-handed? First off, you came to me. Second, I do have something in my hand. The key to a vault, founded on Menga. A vault? That I need to find on my own? You've not made things much easier for me. Give me that. Do all you witches have such nerve? What do you mean? You lied to me. Again. What? You knew from the start who robbed me, but you didn't deign to share that information with me. No, I didn't. But I did deign to help you find your treasure. So stop moaning. I jest you not, Geralt. You abused my trust. I can live with that. This time, yes, you'll live. And now, time to settle things. That a threat? Quite the contrary. You helped me, Witcher. So in spite of everything, you've earned your reward. I take it you've still no idea what happened to Dandelion? None. Found someone who might know, though. A spy, I guess. Signs his name, Yammerlack. I found a letter of his. Just one problem. It only details how to arrange a meeting with him. Makes no mention of where. A ruined house in far corners. Give the signal, and he'll show up there the same day, just before midnight. Probably shouldn't ask, but... Dijkstra, how the hell do you know all this? I draw it all from the flight patterns of birds. Your sarcasm. It gets tiring, you know. I've far worse qualities than that, believe me. And a final humble plea. Don't try to fool me again. Ever.
dogs are like. Oh, yeah. Why smart jacket? Right. Black ones, the Danians. <laughs> Double take time. Too late to see the light. Honest, righteous, eternal fire, you are my only hope. Words that I ask and I'll spare no offering. Must be the drop box. Gave the signal. Spies should show up in far corners before midnight. None other. I couldn't resist. I really want to see this through to the end. Perfect place for a tryst. With Triss. Mm-hmm. Ceilings collapsed, mold on the walls, mouse droppings in the corner. Lips almost pucker on their own. Shh. He's coming, Hyde. Manga. Indisposed. Very indisposed. I don't know who you are, but 
you're in deep. Shit right up to your nostrils. You're in deeper, I assure you. But answer our questions and we'll help you get out. The answer to each question will be the same. Sod off. You'll talk. Just a matter of time. So save us some, yourself some too, and stop acting tough. Or what? Or I'll have to hurt you. Permanently. I see you know your way around an interrogation. So do I. You're the bad one. All threats and torture. And the red one's the good one, full of sympathy and sweet promises. That's where you're wrong. Had enough? Fuck off. I can take this. Of course you can. But I'm just getting started. <laughs> you must be thinking, this can't possibly hurt any worse. Oh, it can. <laughs> Enough! Enough! So, can I talk? Yes! Yes! Just tell me what the fuck about! We're looking for Dandelion. We know Mecha captured him. What? That's what this is all about. A fucking minstrel! The amount of sets up at the start. Before your body started mucking my mind with magic. I can't believe it. For a miserable sap like that. Get to the point. Dandelion is on Temple Isle, in the dungeon beneath the shrine. Menger's planning to execute him in auction first. <laughs> Positively spectacular. Afraid you'll have to call off the show. How can we free Dandelion? Those who leave Temple Isle do so only on Menger's orders. If you did person. Damn it. We'll find a way. I have an idea. Tell you later. Enough. We've learned everything we wanted to. <sighs> Glad to hear it. Can I assume we can put this unfortunate incident behind us? And... Not so fast. Harold. I know. He's seen too much. <laughs> Why? I told you. I'll never. Either he dies or I wipe his mind. Strip him of his memory. But, but I helped you. I helped. It's not so bad, I promise. Peace, Lee, and Gabe. Really showed you claws today. Is that how you see it? I'd put it differently. I showed how little I differ from these bastards. I... Let's finish up and leave. I want to go home, bathe, and get drunk. Said you had an idea about freeing Dandelion. Yes. We know he's on the island, and he'll stay there until Menga orders him transferred to Oxenford, right? Mm-hmm. Problem is, Menga's dead. So? No one else knows that. He could have escaped the fire. He could reappear. Him or someone very, very similar. A Doppler? Mm-hmm. Your old friend Dudu Bibervelt impersonated the halfling merchant. Dandelion claimed he seemed more real than the original. So much so, Vivaldi gave him a loan of several thousand crowns without batting an eye. Yeah, except Dudu's in hiding right now. Priscilla might know something, though. Fingers crossed. Listen, there's one other thing I wanted to talk about. But not here, and definitely not now. Come by later when you have a moment? I'd appreciate it. All right. We need to get out of here.
awfully suspicious to me. Yes. Who are you here for? Triss. Told her from the start. No men, no pets. It is a decent house for decent folk. Don't worry, won't stay long. I've got a problem. Can we talk? Well, yes, Geralt? What did you want to talk about? I got a strange message. I don't quite know what to think. Who was it from? Ingrid Vagelbutt's servant. Apparently, Lady Vagelbutt's prepared to donate a tidy sum. She wants to help mages escape from Novigrad. Guessing this wouldn't be a selfless act of charity. You guess right. And that's my problem. Vagelbutt needs a favor from me. No details in the letter, unfortunately. I'm supposed to meet the servant at the fish market. Says he needs to explain everything face to face, but these days I can't be sure meeting him's a good idea. Like 
like this at all, but you seem determined. Not about to let you deal with it alone. Thank you. The servant. How are you supposed to contact him? Said I'd recognize him. He'll be in a blue tunic, have a load of keys strapped to his belt. I'm supposed to ask him about the price for his trout. Whose idea you think this was? The servants or Vagelbuds? My bet's on Ingrid. Highborn damsels have a lot more time than their servants to read adventure novels. Think it'll be better if I talk to the mystery man in the blue tunic? He's expecting to meet me. You just wait nearby. I'll make sure that note didn't come from the witch hunters. Then you come in. Mm-hmm. Fine. Let's meet there. Jerkins. Interesting. It's clear as the eternal fire. Sun's den lately. Stop going there after they saw me dirty fish tank. That's good. Word is, while he's fallen out with the rest of the big four. Going all in then. Damn foolish bet. Not if he's got a daft eye car. Short, who kisses your ass today will bite it tomorrow. What do you want? Arr! Yeah. Know where I can get the best price on trout? Perhaps. But it wasn't you I was to meet, sir. Want to talk to the letter's recipient? I gotta be present. Caution would advise... Caution's advising you not to argue right now. Trust me. Seems I've got no choice. Come with me. This way. It's not far. I just sawed off. Let's go. 
What did they want from you? I've no clue. First time I've laid eyes on them. Maybe. Well, recently someone's been trying to question our messengers about the young Count. Hold on. Where's Miss Merigold? You would come alone, miss. If not for him, that trio would have dragged you in for questioning. The tall one was Valdo Morris. Works for the witch hunters. Aye, you're surely right, miss. I... It just weren't what I expected since Lady Vagel, bud. So what's this about? Be straight. Lady Vagelbud's son, he's the problem. Master Albert's taken an interest in alchemy. Temple Guard's gotten wind. Wouldn't worry about the guard, but since the Mage Hunters tried to grab you, I'd say Albert's in serious trouble. Aye. Lady Vagelbud bought off the guardsmen, but since the hunters paid for every mage revealed to him. Guardsmen took a bribe from the frightened family and whispered a word to the hunters anyway. Seems Albert needs to disappear as soon as possible. I can arrange that. Think young Vagelbug can slip out of the house unnoticed? It ain't that simple, sadly. Master Albert's in hiding at the Vagelbug's country estate. Lady Ingrid's got the notion she can get him out quietly, wants to throw a lavish masquerade ball. Am I supposed to attend? Help him escape? I will not manage without you, miss. Lady Vagelbug fears the help's being watched. A boisterous bash that'll distract the hunters. Especially if even half of what I've heard about the Vagelbud's balls is true. Word is, at the last one, they served a hundred different desserts, and the fireworks boomed from dusk till dawn. What with the war and all, Milady's ordained but 85 desserts this time. Won't be no candy petals or blue roses from this air. The roses have become dreadfully hard to come by. Oh, I'd love to see it all. I hope we won't have to stay till the end. You're coming with me? Of course I am. Not about to send you into what could prove to be the lion's den by yourself. Think about it. 85 desserts. While well, you're still trying to keep your waist at 22 inches. Geralt, please. How do we get to the residence? Your invitation. Take it. Guard at the gate will have instructions for you. You're to wear a fox mask, all right? Good luck to you. Something I need to do first. Fine. Buy our masks while you're at it. And you should change. Ball attire. I bet you can get everything we need for the ball at Eliel's shop. You know it? Been there before. Eliel's a friend of Dandelion's. Just masks, right? Probably don't need to wear a doublet, do I? A doublet, Geralt. And it's not up for discussion. Take care of that, then come and see me. to the Dragon Mountains. It's a material world, and I'm a material girl. Looking to make some coin too, eh? Greetings. Come to look over my spring collection, perhaps? Glad to take a glance at what you got. Of course, please do. If anything chafes or pinches, I can alter...
so long.